Hello everyone, Arisu here. And Dino here. And today we're gonna do analysis about Mega Mirio no Ryobo Kun. His genres are comedy, H and Harem. The studio is as ready. He, uh, the studio made animes like Mirai Nikki and Arifureta. The creator, Ikumi Hino, the author is the creator of Fate Grand, Fate Grand Order anthology comic, the next, who, which is a manga. The history follows the 12 year old Koshi Nagumo's life, who suddenly goes downhill when his father burns his house and abandons him. Left to, the, to fend for himself, Koshi collapses on the street, but an eccentric yet beautiful woman named Minero Wachi takes pity on him and brings him to the female dormitory Megamirio. After learning of Koshi's situation, Minero, who happens to be the temporary manager, invites him to become the Megamirio official's dormitory mother. However, what awaits him are the dorm's residents each with their own wacky shenanigans like the androphobic yet gentle Athena Saotomi, the feminine tomboy Kiria, Kiria Sancho, and Minero herself, who's reckless, knows no bounds when it comes to science. Despite this, Koshi does his best to fulfill the duties of this crazy new life. I mean, that's the synopsis, and I must say, it doesn't talk about my favorite character of this show, who's Frey. I mean, she's a shiny girl who likes to strip and... How I must say? She likes to strip and make people, aleatory people, random people wear her costumes. It's very funny and... You know, Frey, it's like her nickname from the internet. She's a devoted cosplayer. She's awesome. Um, talking about the voices, we've got... A new voice actor on this anime, it's her first work, Yamada Misuzu. She's doing the voice of Koshi. And Nanase Ayaka, who's Koharu Yoshino from Sakura Request. There are other pretty big names around here, but as these two, this two are the main characters, that's enough. And talking about ending and opening songs, both are performed for are performed by the voice actors of this show and like any other show you can hear the voice and distinguish them between themselves it's something that i think it's incredible i mean it brings value to the to the anime i don't know how this anime is not considered a uh... Hentai. It's very, very heavy, H. Who like H? You're gonna like it. I'm gonna say that. Because the anime have a really, really good idea. Have a good chapters because... Um, have friends with Athena, who, who is a Shotakon. She like younger... In reality... Everybody in the dormitory, maybe it's a Shotakun, but she's like a he. She's like to be a Cisco, like ah, oh, call me by uh, call me by Cis. I want to be your sister. And not only that, because I I like the idea of the characters and the relationship the between the characters. I mean, yeah. You always talk that you like pure characters like Koshi. And yeah, I, li I like you a lot about pure characters. Uh, when me and Dino talk uh, about, for example, One Piece, I always remember about my favorite arc. It's uh, Amazon Lily because show how pure the Luffy is. And I like the pure chapters because you made me make me feel like lighter because I, I say oh that's not the the character is very very good good uh, fun to watch because he's very innocent and I mean he only have like 12 years or so he's starting middle school and 
just living with. I don't know how to say this. I mean, crazy girls. Yeah. Not... Um, I one thing I really like this anime. It's the concept of every character have a problem. For example, Athena, she's have a andro. I think it's called androphobia. Because she can touch boys, because when she touches, she her nose explodes. He, we have Sutia, who it's a tsundere, but cannot touch people because people it's very, it's harm and she's faint if he, the the he, the weather or she's her body it's very very hot. And every chapter have her problem. And I the my favorite chapter in this anime. It's a supporting character, but I really like it. It's Sereni because she's chill. She's the chill one, and she's the one who doesn't talk a lot. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't talk a lot, but she's kind of funny. I mean, on the first episode, there was that whole commotion about Fuki Mamoru Kun. The thing that Athena uses to stop the nipples from showing. I mean, man, it has been such a long time since I saw some etch with nipples. I mean, it's crazy. But anyway, um, this anime is very, the art's very nice. I mean, it gives you... It gives me the same feeling as I'm watching something like, how I must say this, um, there is uh, there is an anime, I mean, Kanokon? it feels like Kanokon, and it gives you the same vibe from, I mean, the art's very near of Hataraku Mao-sama. It's refreshing to see those traces. I mean, the art's fabulous, and it's really nice. And also, the way they made the relationship between the characters, I think that's a lot nice. I mean, the girls are all... I mean, they may be not Shotakons, but they like Koshikun, and there are always dirty jokes in the sidelines, and it's very funny. I mean, we've got a girl with androphobia that eats also a siscon. We've got a... Kudere. Kudere. We've got Sirene? a Tsundere. We've got a mad scientist. We've got a crazy cosplayer. I mean, Frey. Who almost. likes to strip everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's very funny. I mean... The, the time she tells that she likes to strip people in the street and make them wear her fantasies. I mean, I was like, damn girl, control yourself. And we have and like, are... oh sorry, and we have like Kiria, who, who, is, who is the fighter of the group, but she's, she was born in a family who learned only to fight because, and when she met the romance on novels, she was like, Oh my god, that's so cute! And bah, explode the wall. It's so cute that I'll break, break our wall. Oh. I mean, it, it feels like... Um, I don't know. I forgot the name of the film. But it feels like she's the girl from... It's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! <laughs> but... I gonna say I really expect this anime to go forward or have a second season because it's really really fun. Not be not because I don't want to go for it because because of the age, but I really like the concept of the boy who lost his home. He gave everything to this these girls and help everyone else in the the house and we we I. I really expect to see how it's oh, the story is gonna unfold. Yeah, I must say it's very 
I, assim, I, uh, I think that's very refreshing to see this kind of anime. I mean, we've got a pretty pure and small character. We've got a whole a whole some characters, I mean. We've got, it feels like we've got a small guy with five or four big sisters that are always helping and caring for him. And even though the dirty jokes and the nipples showing anywhere, you can feel that's like, oh, it's a family, I mean. I mean, don't watch with with your family or so. Watch it alone. I mean, it's very yeah. heavy. But it gives you family vibes. Yeah, yeah. And I must say, I expect a lot from this anime. And if there is a second season, it's I hope be that great. it's going to be great. And also, I must say one thing. It's low-rated anime, so you can watch it and brag everybody to everybody that you know a low-key anime. And that's a low, that's nice. Yeah. And you know it, guys. According to YouTube statistics, a small percentage of the viewers are not subscribed. If you like the video, don't forget to share and subscribe. And bye, have a great week. Thank you.